American Society of Women Engineers and American Society of Mechanical Engineers, so I'm really involved with the clubs. We have an opportunity to go to the national conference that SWE held um, every single year, and I just reconnect or connected with Keurig um, twice, and then the second time I just was able to. The first time I was too excited. The second time I was able to emphasize like what I liked about them and their innovation. So I worked with the project management team at Keurig. Um, we, you know, the little K-cups and the view, bigger view cups that are now out. Um, basically, we were in the production facility of that and we would have giant bags of, full of coffee and there would be machiner a set of machinery having the cup, the lid, coffee, whatever compartment you would need and my team was the team that um, ordered the machine, set up the machine, troubleshooted the machine and handed it over to the local site and what I did was I helped around the project management team I summarized the finance spreadsheets um, I made CAD modeling on um, PC to innovate, uh, I guess, have innovations within the machinery to just add parts wherever needed. It just was kind of like a wild card wherever we were troubleshooting. I would go there, uh, note, note down wherever they needed help with, and tried helping with that. So I guess not really your usual engineer intern, because I took care of like summing up finances, and I stepped into the machine shop and drilled something. Being on the factory and being in the classroom is really diverse and different things. Yes, GPA and what you do in classes are very important, but also your compatibility and how you perform, how like your work ethic helps you, that you gain from studying. It ties that up together, but not necessarily the, with the information, but with the work ethic. You're kind of baffled by how things are going to work together, and seeing that firsthand is really cool like oh I yeah I studied linkages and gears and gear sets and I never knew how this could be implemented but you step into the factory and you see it working and working well and just impressed and you know my uh, my background is science so I was just always ah oh, this is fascinating let's cut up things and learn how they work Exposing yourself to other people as far as what you did and what you accomplished or if you had a trouble You went to the right person you figured out what exactly you should be doing and went on from there I think that impressed them a lot because it was the same people and Again knowing what you're talking about. So I was genuinely Interested I cut up some k-cups. I figured out how they work and I was able to muster up the courage and say Here's what I cut up the cake up. I know it sounds kind of weird, but I cut up, cut it up because I wanted to see how it worked. And the engineer that I worked, uh, talked with in the conference ended up being the person who designed the specific thing that I was talking about. So she was like, you know, what? you can figure things out. I like that. Why don't you come to our company dinner? And we just kind of took it off from there. Former boss said to me after I was hired. He said, um, what took you from the first interview to our second interview, the final interview, was that you were able to show me what you did with your research. I went into um, a professor's room and said, I really like what you did, do. Can I be in any shape or form, be involved in your um, research? And I was a freshman at the time, but that transitioned me into becoming an intern with Keurig because they were able to see that if I wanted something I wasn't afraid to go get it. You just need to speak up your like what you want to do. I think a lot of people, I still hear from my classmates, I'm like, oh I wish I did that, I wish I did this. If you just go out and do it, the worst they could say is no, which you're not losing much, but if you're not asking, you're just losing all of the potential.